I think experimentation is really important to kind of get to know a medium's charge. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm attracted to working across disciplines, uh, to consider processes that I haven't done before, to get to know and become acquainted with the consequences and the particularities of those techniques is really important so that when an idea surfaces, sometimes a, a certain medium, a certain process, a certain technique will announce itself as the appropriate choice. I think it's part of um, a way for me to keep uh, a, a constant conversation going, possibilities. Pin Prey was something that I knew immediately when I saw the base found object. I knew where I wanted that to go. I knew exactly what was going to happen with it. And sometimes it's, uh, it's more of an experimentation process where out of Pay to Prey came Ironsides, and so there were pieces that were made through this process. And as the ball gets rolling and momentum picks up in the studio, you're trying other things and you're playing around. And as that happens, then you know the next thing happens, and, and there it is. You can look at the work I do and kind of apprehend it in the moment. It kind of appears to you as it is, but if you take the time and kind of observe patiently, you'll see it's more of a progression of thought, sort of a story that plays out over time. So beginning, middle, end, repeat. And you realize there's a cyclic uh, form to the pieces I'm making. And then there's this uh, sense of attention to detail. I'm attracted to things like breathing, the blink of an eye, the twitching of an arm, I think that's the small stuff that plays out on a larger scale. It's the stuff that resonates and leaves a lasting impression. We hope that by focusing on something, you can help drive a dialogue about that something. There is, I think, a startling absence of dialogue about the most kind of complex events happening around the world right now. Um, the reality of those events is often not being dialogued with, it's not often being engaged with. And so, because of the stillness, the quietness of a venue like this, as opposed to a 24-hour media cycle, you hope that people can come in and be brought into a different frame of reference, a different kind of psychic space for that dialogue to start to happen. So a lot of these vehicles that I create, these static vehicles, are are methods of for me to also share. It's a form of, um, of healing that is more metaphysical than, than, than physical at all. It's, it's a, an important way for me to share with the public that can form or connect individuals or people or, or groups and communities that may not assume that they have any kind of connection or relationship to one another. Because we're all connected.